Good day to you and welcome, I'm Micarization, and today I'm going to talk about laptop graphics cards. Mostly about NVIDIA ones and all of these are about 940M. Because I have the most experience with this from the modern cards. I also have experience with 540M and 420M. So um, there is a quite, there is some range or space in, well, let's say time. However, as 940M is right now one of the most popular cards in laptops, I should very much talk about it, because half of the time you can see people on uh, forums and in shops actually asking whether this is a good card for gaming. And my answer is partially yes. Uh, now, Nvidia has uh, 14 laptop cards in the 900 series. The 940M is the sixth from the bottom, which means that it's actually a low, it's actually a mid-range card in terms of all Nvidia cards. It's not mid-range in terms of gaming. Please never mix these things together. Because in terms of gaming, it's actually a complete low end. Now, why do I say that. Um, if you want to see some comparisons, uh, well, not comparisons, but some results and performances of this video card, you can take a look at this uh, little video on my channel where I have, for example, Witcher 3, or there's a whole list of videos about 940M, so you can see specific performances. But right now, let's talk about it in more general. So, 940M is not a really powerful card. It's considered, it's named a multimedia card, which more or less means that it can do everything, but not well. It can actually, I can actually edit videos on this. I can actually um, run pretty much any type of uh, video I can, or I would like to. It can actually run even 4K if I remember correctly. Um, like, yeah, there are these options. In terms of gaming, however, it has some problems. Very often, I end up uh, using some kind of low-end mod, because it simply does not have enough power. It has enough VRAM, so if let's say you need well look, today you need probably a 2 gig at minimum which this is a minimum at that case but 1 gig would be for for really low textures and that's one of the things why this is like people are sometimes astonished by not performing of this video card though it has 2 gigs of memory because memory is only good for textures, it doesn't really help processing the textures, it helps you store them. So you can actually store higher, uh, higher resolution textures within the memory. However, to actually process everything else, you need a good chip, you need a good graphics processor, which this one does not really have. So. If you are thinking about getting a gaming laptop just for modern games, you know, you you are a keen Call of Duty player, you are a keen Battlefield player, then never ever go under 950 or any X number 50, which is usually named GTX 50 or GTX 950M in this case, for, for this generation, the next generation will be GTX 1050M. Uh, never go below those, because the difference between 940M and 950, uh, 950M is actually like 40% of power. And that means that some games can be run on, on 10 or 950M on full HD, so 1080p, and medium settings. Though on the 940M, you have to run them on a lower one, which in my case is very often 1600 to 900 or even thir uh, 1366 to 768 and low to medium settings. And, and this is one thing that I enjoy a lot, uh, so that's one of the reasons why I actually have 940M. I like to mess with INI files. Without the ability to mess with the INI files, 
you cannot actually use 940M as a gaming card half of the time. Because you just have to find the proper config. And the in-game configurations are, as of late, very uh, insufficient in that case. So, if you are a keen player who does not really know anything about uh, things and you just want to, you know, grab a game and play it, go for 50 and above every single time in terms of NVIDIA cards. If you don't have enough money, well, that's another case. That was the case for me because my laptop, my previous laptop with 540M actually just one day just burned. Literally, there was fire coming out of it from the back and I had to buy a new laptop the very uh, the very evening this happened. So it happened like in 9 p.m. and I got my laptop in 10 p.m. after a small research and well, uh, you know, if you have to buy this quickly, you just don't have enough resources because you have to find it for work. However, if you have time, you know, like one, one month, two months, save up. Save up those hundred dollars and buy a better one. Buy 950M. Also, please never forget to check the processor. As the processor is really, really important. And very often I have found out that 940M is actually like doing okay with some games, but the processor which I have, the 6200U, is very much underperforming. Always, if you are looking for a gaming laptop, always go above 950M or X50M NVIDIA and always go for, the for a processor which ends up with letter M at least just because the U ones are the Ultrabooks ones and they 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 are a bit underclocked to stay you know within the temperature ra uh, range if you have the M ones they usually perform a lot better so is 940M a gaming card partially but you have to but you have to work in order to make it a gaming card so I hope that this helps you decide whether to buy a laptop with 940Ms or any kind of X40M in the future. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.